Hey guys, I'm Darian. I'm your new Celtics Junior Reporter. I'm 10 years old and I live in Reading. I'm a huge Celtics fan. I love to learn about history and meet new people. MLK and other activists had to boycott and protest all because black people were not being treated equally. Can you think of a time in your life when you had to deal with segregation? Yeah, um, I would say during the, during the 60s, uh, my father lived in uh, Quitman, Georgia, which was from Kinston about a 10 hour drive. And we'd always come through Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And you would think of Myrtle Beach as this great place and we thought it was a great place. And we get to Myrtle Beach and um, the beach actually was uh, segregated. They had, a, they had a fence that ran through the, ran from the top of the beach, probably about two football fields out in the water. So people of color couldn't swim in what they call white water. Actually, and just remember, I was probably about your age thinking like, why is this fence here? I mean, why did they have this? And, and, I, and it's, you know, probably thinking back on it, your parents really wanted to uh, tell you, but didn't know, did not know how to tell you. Um, I think another incident uh, for me was going into a, a bathroom in um, uh, Wake Frost, Georgia, uh, with my mother and father. My, my brother and I went into the bathroom. The gentleman said, no, this is not your bathroom. And I said, your bathroom is out in the, in the grease pits. And my father, who had been in the Vietnam War, he pulled the gas thing out and, and, and said, what do you mean that you're, saying, you're trying to tell me that, my, that I can't go into a bathroom and I actually fought in a war and I got wounded and fought for this country? And so, so I learned a lot of great lessons listening to Manny Maxwell, who was a Vietnam veteran. He was uh, there for, he was in the Marines for 22 years as a, as a gunny sergeant. So I lived uh, pretty much as a military child. 